All right, so if I know it's patron word, I think I want to keep like void caller, and then just get like flame imp. Probably knife juggler is even my best two drop. If I play Flame and Pinging his axe, this is really bad for me. I'm ready to scare Acolyte though, but can't kill anyways before Acolyte. Just have a slow hand. <laughs> I have power overwhelming void terror. I can create like a gigantic dude. The more I think about it, the more it's kind of worth it. I want to play a little bit fast. And I get to kill my own void caller. The problem is I might get a flame imp. Probably not that bad. I mean, probably pretty bad. Or else I can play my flame imp first. Actually, what might be the best is if I just um attack flame imp and void terror, get the other void caller. So he had a way to do one damage and execute anyways. He doesn't have a death by setup, so this is the turn I'm gonna implosion. It's actually a lot harder for him to um, whirlwind. I mean, he can whirlwind, but really want to play this implosion here. Question is, do I want to play the Nervine Egg or tap? I have a chance of getting a demon if I tap, which I don't have right now. Egg, I don't think it does anything. I guess it gives me a power roaming target, but I have other power roaming targets. It's not like he's brawl on his deck anyways. So I'm losing like 2 damage like this, I'm not sure. I guess it's not good. He's like scared of killing the Void Caller though, so maybe I should like, just like keep it up, but he can just attack the Pit Lord or like execute, I'm not sure. <laughs> Fifteen damage here. Otherwise, my good moves are to play the Nurebian egg, and um, it's pretty good actually. I wonder. One of this stuff's already been bought in case. Only one, yeah, probably. Well, I don't know. Imp game boss is big. Also, Grim Patron War is new. I guess it's, it's not a new archetype though. It's still Zoo with Imp Gang. Yeah, Flame Waker is a deck as well, kind of. It's like a tempo deck though, like the same. It's not like a new concept, I guess. A lot of people didn't think that BRM was going to change that much because it's like a adventure mode. It's not like a full expansion. Only like 20-ish cards instead of like almost 200. This card is always a little bit scary because the boom bots, but then I just get some damage and I'm so close to lethal. Grim Patron plus War Song. Right now it's pretty good for me. I don't, I don't have any minions for a great attack. Or just play another weapon. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Here's one card. That's not a big deal. It's a 5-5 though. The actual activation's 100% pointless. He's already used both executes. Both executes, both cruels. Wow, this is actually so tempting. Homeless is also nice to play this and power roaming into it, but then why do you even need a trade? I think I'm just playing it. Because I could have played Malganus and Power Roaming on turn 10, but I'm just starting lethal this way. <laughs> okay. I guess it's worth it for me. Doom Guard wins the game. I have a taunt as. Oh no, I don't have a taunt. <sighs> There's my taunt. Just tap for Doom Guard. And then just spam my, every minion here. So he can do 6 damage to me. Actually, wait, wait, wait. That's too dangerous. If he has a whirlwind, he can just kill me if I spam the board. So this kills this at 4, 6 armor. So actually the creeper is a huge, it's like a breakpoint over the egg, because I have lethal like this. If he if he just trades like this and trades like this. Yeah, I needed this 2 damage here, because that's 6 damage of power roaming. I think I would die if I didn't science it and he would top deck whirlwind. I wonder I can wait longer. Oh, he's still dead. Because he can't kill the spiders. Oh, wait, wait, he didn't attack. Nope, he's not dead. That's actually kind of close. Oh, man. I did, for some reason, I just thought that Doomgar was lethal. It, it actually was, but I didn't even think about playing a Power Roman before. It's very important for me to get an abusive here. <laughs> Have you tried making your own Grim Patient version? Maybe. Haven't tried yet. Yeah. What to do? What to do? Coin Arcane Enola. Wow. It's not something you see often. It means it's probably freeze mage, I guess. I need to have way more pressure then. My my hand kind of sucks against freeze mage. It's good at fighting for board control, like this plus this is super good. But then if he's just like tapping and stuff or AIing and waiting for a late game, I don't have a lot of damage. Like I need flame imp and knife juggler, that kind of stuff. I need to save this for doomsayer though. I think I can power roaming any time. Probably not double power roaming now. Can Zoo even beat Freeze Mage? It's not good. I've seen people win though. You have Burst and you have early game aggro. So it's not that bad, but it's not good either. Actually, you know what? I have I just never played it enough. It could be pretty good, because this version is running double power or roaming, which is very good against Freeze Mage. You also have Void Caller into Malganus, which is really good. Sea Giant is very good, because they don't really clear your board that much sometimes. There's Freeze, and you can get cheap Sea Giants. I'm going to save these Death Rattles. So many possibilities. That way he can't blizzard or flame strike. I can deal with Frost and Dooms here with Owl. Still need more threats. I was playing a knife juggler double power whelming this guy. I think this is better though, because Void Terror is it's gonna be 8-8. The question is, is it worth it to break the egg here? I don't think so, it's not, because Blizzard, yeah.
I lost some pings this way. Question is, do I have enough damage? I could do four here, probably five in game boss six. He can't flame strike. I guess it's enough to just go all in. No, there's no way I can proc the block. I want to have like these three for Kona Cold and these three like split up for Kona Cold. I'm sure he doesn't have another one probably because usually he'll only use one Kona Cold. I don't have to play around Flame Strike because he just dies if he Flame Strikes. I have lethal. Not real lethal, but like lethal enough. I just count Ice Block as lethal. Let the pain speak to me. Wait, he needs two mana. He can't frost over. Oh, I was just giving it up. Okay. I mean, like, he's just letting his block go away. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 13, 15, 19 damage. That's enough to kill the barrier and the block. I want to force out the barrier because I can proc it anyways. Six, seven. I think that's a little. I wish I had some more time to think about it. The problem is, I got I got his block at four. I think I could have done better. At least I got one good play in, which is to kill the barrier first and the block. If I just parked a block then killed and he got a second block from Mad Scientist, that'd be bad for me. But I can't feel like this is ideal. So possibilities. Oh wait, that doesn't work. I think I can kill him somehow. Oh, that doesn't work. Oh man. All right, good. It wasn't a barrier. Like I could have maybe killed him if my board wasn't so filled up, because I could have played Doctor Boom and then he might die to Boom Bots on his turn. But I was six minions. Doctor Boom wouldn't spawn any Boom Bots. Do what to do. Also, I think it was important for me to get him to two for Bane of Doom. It's like I messed up some of the turns, so I wasn't able to get him to two. I guess that wouldn't have mattered. I wonder why I didn't just kill me before. Oh, it's actually kind of like a perfect hand against Hunter. Greetings, traveler. I greet you. Why do you fall? Well, science seems to have source, so I don't proc the block. Cause then he can Alex in 15 and seal the block up. He had way more than enough damage. He, he only needed one damage with that Alex. He would have gotten more. I, I, was, I think I was like 23 or something. Double end game boss.
I think this is probably mid range hunter. I don't know. Actually, it just seems like not having anything. Yeah, if he has that two, that would have been a lot better. I probably could have gone Doc Doctor Boom. I thought it was okay though, probably. It might have been better not to attack actually. I should have just um, attacked face and then attacked that one, left up the trap and try again next turn. Because at this point I knew it was probably freezing trap actually, instead of explosives. Alright, this should work, I think. Actually, combo is pretty sick. Sylvanas plus Void Terror, especially if I can like s steal Sylvanas. I mean, high main. I guess it wouldn't have happened if you put high main on six and I put Sylvanas on six. Probably too slow. I can play it now though, and then do it next turn. I can also power Void, power Roaming plus Void Terror to like a combo as well. I can end up with like one gigantic minion. I don't think that's as good as having two minions. One gigantic minion's always weak to freezing trap. Or owl. Not so worried if he kill commands my Solanus since uh, it's a lot of like effort to put in. Huh. Well that's gonna get stolen. Cause I can just trade trade and then void terror if the boom bot doesn't kill it. Four mana left over. Can't do anything else though. So I guess that's not much to complain right. about. Let none survive. Let none survive. Kind of lethal here. I have um, 9 damage for my hand, plus 7. 9 plus 7 is 16. I can race here. It might honestly be better to just play the Sea Giant here. All my other moves don't sound that good. I can't really play Doomguard and Void Terror. I can't like, eat any of these minions. Should be fine. He's already played a Kill Command, so... Really hard for him to kill me, and if he just goes face, there's no way he's winning the race. It's kind of scary, but probably means his, his, he'll go face. It still won't save him though. If I get Al, he's definitely dead, and I still have lethal through it anyways. I'm actually gonna keep Knife Juggler. I realize that my deck doesn't have that much early game. One time Mulligan, I didn't feel that good about it. Even if it just trades with a 2 1. Oh, that's weird because if I coin out Knife Juggler, I'm super weak to Mad Scientist. But then, like, I don't really have anything to do, anyways. If I just quit game boss, it's ruining our mana curve anyways. So I greet you. Let's just save the coin. Probably play game boss. 
still does a lot better against Mad Scientist. I can always play Void Terror on turn three. I can trade and then just uh, devour the imp, for example. To my side. Probably mid range hunter, I guess. With the way he's playing. It's tough because I can devour my void caller, get out Malganus. But if it gets silence, it's too late. And also, I have Argus, anyways, to force that. I think I have to play this. It's just, um, it allows me to win the board. Oh wow, it's Face Hunter. That's actually surprising. <laughs> Wait, he didn't even attack Glazuka. I think it's mid range. Wait, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Face Hunter 100%. That's not possible. I'm at 30 life in turn 5. Didn't even attack me once. I'm really scared of Freezing Trap. I was like playing and just like Argusing here. So I don't get freezing trapped. It is mid range hunter. Just using it by Zuka. It has to. It doesn't make any sense otherwise. My seal for Argus. Hope I get Malganus. Some game boss isn't the worst either. But I did want to save Juggler Implosion for turn 6, because I'm scared to attack into it because of Freezing Trap. I don't want a Juggler, I don't want Implosion last turn for 4. If I get unlucky and he has Unleashed with Lock Up and I have like that many Imps, I kind of think I'm just dead. This should be good though. I'm gonna be proccing snake trap anyways. It's okay. Put this apple on your head. I guess that might even be too much to clear. I thought I could clear almost no matter what. It'll definitely depend on my roll. All right, that didn't work out. Probably not too bad, but yeah, didn't work out too well. If I want to play around a little bit better, probably don't attack the Hunter Creeper, just attack something else. That way there's not so many 1-1s one that I might not be able to clear out if it's Snake Trap. I wanted to proc it so I could, if it feels like freezing, I guess if it's freezing it doesn't matter. I was just a little bit greedy, I thought I could clear with Knife Juggler Implosion. <laughs> I guess this is probably the best still. There's no way I can use the Beast of Empower only to get through the little guys. No, he didn't have Al when he killed Command in my Void Caller like four turns ago, three turns ago. But maybe he has one now. If he doesn't have Al, though, he's probably screwed. From the void I come. Get in there and fight, maggot. Let's play around Unleash a little bit, I think. Having this many one ones. Doesn't make that much sense against Hunter. So I have the option of playing Malganus. I also have the option of just playing Dr. Boom and just trading for something. Maybe I can get Malganus. Power Roaming plus Dr. Boom, maybe. I wonder. If I had Power Roaming plus Dr. Boom, I don't get the buff on the imps. Probably perfect for me. 
Oh, it's not enough. I can just play Melganis. Trade, so trade. It's okay. I can also attack Bane of Doom. Get one extra Bane of Doom out. One extra minion from there. I think this is probably better. <laughs> Bane of Doom to get Malganus. Should have played Dr. Boom before because of explosives too. 